Let's go out to Tucson. Paul Birmingham, KNST. A lot of people are trying to pass this off, saying, hey, you know what? It's common for CPS, Child Protective Services, to get involved in cases when a child goes missing. Not like this. It is not common for the biological father the custodial father of the children to be banned from any contact with his other children, Paul. That's right, Nancy. And the people who are trying to put that off on us is Tucson police because they are the people who say it needs to be stressed that it is common practice for CPS to become involved in investigations regarding missing children. This bomb, draw, this bomb dropped on Friday afternoon. We're still getting the fallout today. It was told to us that CPS was involved. That is all the Tucson police would say. They refused any additional comment. Those reports, as you mentioned, ABC then saying, in fact, that Sergio Salis is banned from seeing his children. In fact, Mother's Day yesterday, the two siblings of Isabel, her older brothers, were with the mother. So we knew at that point that there was something going on and then in fact that Sergio, we could confirm, was not being allowed to see his children. And this is on Mother's Day. She is away from her husband on Mother's Day. No family outing, no nothing for these two boys and their father. What else do we know? Ellie Justed, our chief editorial producer, what have we learned? Well, Nancy, we are trying to find out exactly what information has come to light that led police to involve CPS, have the father eliminated from making any contact with those two boys. We know that the mother is still able to have contact with them. They were seen yesterday by our affiliate there in Tucson, got video of them out apparently trying to celebrate Mother's Day even without little Isabel.